Hi, we are the Married Chefs and we love cooking outdoors and we're here today to share with you some of our delicious recipes. Cooking another beautiful dish for you guys. Hope you enjoy this one. This one's a real Aussie one, so we're going with kangaroo. Kangaroo. Uh, yeah, Absolutely we're, beautiful. we're out kayaking and I saw some kangaroos and I thought, let's cook something with kangaroos. So here we are. So we've got some lovely kangaroo, kangaroo that we're going to do. So what we're going to actually do is kangaroo spring rolls. So we're going to make these spring rolls absolutely beautiful to the point you don't know that you're eating kangaroo. So they're absolutely lovely. So I'll let um, my lovely wife <laughs> go through the ingredients that we're going to use today while I start chopping. Lovely. So we're going with a um, coleslaw mix. So Paul's going to use a little bit of that one with some red onion and some coriander. And the coriander is not just for flavour, it has a really great health benefit. It helps to lower blood sugar and is full of antioxidants as well. But can't get past the flavour of coriander. It's very good. Yeah, we all love coriander. So I just got this coleslaw, I'm just chopping it up finely because what we want is we want those flavours. I did cheat and just buy the coleslaw mix but we're out, out camping and outside so I wasn't going to bring cabbage and carrot and so we just cheated and, yeah. and bought one of those which is fine to do, you can buy them at Woolworths or Coles. Yeah, just one of the, this one's the Four Seasons coleslaw mix. Yeah, so I'm just chopping it up really fine because in our uh, spring rolls we want everything to be quite nice and fine and not um, like stringy like when you bite into it you don't want it to be stringy you want it to be just nice and fine anyway I'll chop this up finely so the other ingredients today is obviously the kangaroo steaks and then we've got just some salt and pepper the oil obviously to cook the spring rolls in we're using the premium dark soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce and the marmalade's a little bit of a secret but Paul will go through that a little bit later. <laughs> yes. That, that's it's a... the kind of little key ingredients to the... Of course I've washed our, we've washed our hands before we've done this. You always wash your hands before you enter a kitchen. Even a camp kitchen? Even a camp <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> that's the way it is. So there we go. We've chopped up a bit of the, the mix there. I haven't, I haven't used much because we're only going to make a couple. Um, so we're onto our kangaroo. Oh, we'll put our onion in first. Okay, let's do that. So we'll chop our onion up and we'll put our onion in as well because this coleslaw mix doesn't have red onion. No. And I like red onion. Red onion's yummy. Heaps of flavour. Gives it a nice crunch too. Yeah, it gives it that crunch we're looking for. So yeah, it's, it's beautiful. So yeah, and it's healthy. So. But yes. And we're just going to pop the coriander in here as well. So again, I'm just going to chop this onion up quite finely, so that way we um, we mix it with our fine coleslaw mix there, and it tastes really yummy. It's going to be beautiful. You won't, you know, the onion will just be this slight little crunch in there, but it's not going to be overpowering or anything like that. So just yeah, and definitely the red onion, not the white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that definitely. There's sometimes we use red and sometimes we use white. A lot of salads we use reds, but in cooking I tend to use my white onions a lot more. Yeah. So it seems like a lot of onion, but it's not really. It's it will go really nice with that mix there that we've got going on. I'm just going to wipe down my counter a little bit here and clean up a little bit. I'm not going to go too berserk here because we only had veggies on there. I didn't have chicken or, or fish or anything on there. So we can use the same cutting board for our meat. But I'm going to change my knives just because I prefer to use a bit of a smaller knife when I'm cutting up my kangaroo. So these fillets are absolutely they beautiful. They do. Okay. So now I'm just looking at which way my grain's going so I can get a nice slice onto the, on this um, kangaroo. Because what we want is we just want nice thin slices of kangaroo. Look how beautiful that kangaroo is. It's lovely. So one of the great things about using kangaroo, believe it or not, is that the kangaroo is a very lean meat. It has less than 
3% fat, which is really health beneficial if you're looking for a really low fat meat. It has the double iron compared to beef and triple the iron compared to chicken and pork. So they are also full of vitamin B, the omegas 3 and 6. So they kind of tick most of the boxes. These are all great reasons why Absolutely. you should be using it, isn't it? So that's, that's it. just fantastic. I'm just going to wash my hands and sleep over here. Yeah, it's good to try something that you aren't used to trying. Yeah, adventure outside the box with That's what I'm your to, different yeah. flavours and yeah, for sure. And kangaroo is just one of those different flavours that people probably need to just venture out of the box and, and give it a go, yeah. explore. Yeah, that's so, it. I'm going to show you my way of cooking kangaroo. So I'm going to start with some soy. I'm going to put some soy. I'm going to put a good 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 probably I'm looking at probably a two two um, uh, tablespoons of um, soy and probably about the same of which we she which we she <laughs> yeah, give it a good dollop we want a nice a lot of sauce in there so, get that sauce in there so that's heating up nicely feel that heat so now I'm gonna add a little bit of Chinese five spices just a little bit Probably, um, I would say just a, a little teaspoon. Yeah, about that much, not too much. You don't want to put too much of it. It really does um, overpower the dish if you put too much of the five spices. But it's a great, uh, great flavors to use. They're just fantastic. So, um, so I'm just waiting for my my soy and wishy wishy um, to to come to a bit of a simmer. When it comes to a simmer which is so close it's a very hot day out here today it's a bit windy too but it's a beautiful day yes it's been an amazing day again uh, yeah it's been great so i'm gonna just pick up my kangaroo and i'm just gonna drop my kangaroo straight into our soil right. <clears throat> i'm gonna just wash my hands again yeah that's fine Okay, so we can get rid of this board out of the way and while we're doing that, we're just gonna yeah, you can see that sizzling and boiling around the outside there, it's already cooking. So so what we're trying to do here is um, I didn't braise off the steak. Um, I basically am cooking it in the sauce. So it's kind of poaching the steak in a way. But what it's doing is that as it's cooking, it's taking on all those beautiful flavors. They're just amazing flavors. So that's what we're trying to do is just take on those flavors. Um, and because uh, kangaroo is such a gamey piece of meat, we do want to kind of um, disguise those flavors. So that way, just a little, little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. Just for those people who don't like gamey flavors, um, this this will not be gamey. You'll see it, it. It will be lovely. You will not even know that that's what you're eating. So that you're eating kangaroo. That's the whole point, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's a, there's a beautiful flavour there, but yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell is it kangaroo, or is it beef, or what you're eating. So it's great. Anyway, that's cooking. We have our coleslaw mix, which consisted of the packet, some coriander and the red onion and that's going to be used as our filling along with the kangaroo and then I have my spring roll wrappers which you can buy in any of the frozen sections at Woolies or Coles so they're already defrosted and ready to wrap they look great so you can just buy them anywhere at yeah. like Woolworths, Coles, wherever yeah. you want they're, you don't have to be a professional chef to be able to buy these ingredients. No. So the kangaroo we bought that at Woolworths or Coles so you can just buy it wherever. Um, and then to make a bit of a glue paste I have some corn flour and water and that'll just help stick the spring rolls together. Excellent. So that just acts like a glue. It acts like a glue. Holds and it you'll together. see I'll actually go quite liberal with it because it just keeps it all together. Oh great. <laughs> our chicken's not our oh, chicken. <laughs> our kangaroo. That's there's a kangaroo in the background you don't want him to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly there. It's looking great. So yeah, we've got that. It's 
like really cooked off there. We, we, you know, some some people go, oh, kangaroo, you got to leave it uh, raw. This dish, we want to cook it all the way through. I don't want to see no blood in there. I want to cook it all the way through. I want those flavours to go all the way through. Don't worry, it won't dry out. It's cooking in sauce, so it won't dry out. So I'll switch that off now. That's fantastic. There we go. That's that's beautiful. So we'll chop some of this up. Um, I'll just grab my tongs. And I've got one pair of tongs here. So I'll grab my tongs and I'll just pop it, pop it on my counter here. I'll just drain a bit of that off so I don't get soy everywhere. Right, there we go. I'll be all washed out. So then I'm just going to chop this up just finely, just like we did the, like we chopped up the um, coleslaw mix there and the onion, just nice and finely. So we want everything to kind of be the same size in there, so it's on different sizes. So the flavours are all kind of mixing together, not one flavour will stand out more than the other. So that was, that's my concept for, for chopping it up finely. And again, it goes with your bite size, you're going to get a bit of every flavour. Yeah. yeah. There we go, that looks lovely. So we'll just um, very carefully scoop that into our bowl. Fantastic. So we'll just clean this, clean this up a little bit, and then we'll get on to the next step, which is rolling. We'll put the rest of that kangaroo in that as well. Oh, we uh, we had a, a lot of this mix left over because um, we made too much once, and so we decided just to put that as it is in in a wrap and wrap yeah. it up as a filling because it's all it's just like cooked, a so big spring roll really it was an absolute amazing <laughs> really really good i definitely recommend it so if you have a little bit left over don't worry nothing if you got a bit of that waste. yeah nothing go to waste in the kitchen that's what we taught nothing goes to waste is mm -hmm. on place everything has its place okay so we'll do some wrapping So just a couple of uh, scoops is fine. I feel like if you put too much filling in there then it's very hard to wrap. A bit of glue. A bit of glue. Bit of super glue there? No, <laughs> yeah. not super glue. <laughs> So that was corn flour, corn flour and a water. bit of water. Water. So, so just all around everywhere just to hold it all together. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing paper mache again. Oh, this would be fun with the kids. You could teach the kids how to do this yeah. and have a bit of fun with it and it'd be great. Or just, yeah, it just gives you something to do at home. We, we love doing it. It's heaps of fun. Our kids love it. And Who else has had the pleasure of eating these delicious? Oh, yeah, we, we were... Well, that's how we came up with this This recipe was uh, we were managing a uh, Motel 1770 Lagoons um, and uh, the Fishing, fishing, Australia. fishing Australia. Yeah. We're doing a TV show there, so they were going to do a little series on our cooking. So while we're there, we they said, well, we want to taste some of your dishes. So I said, oh, great, I'll, I'll cook a kangaroo spring roll. But I did it uh, with kakadu plum sauce at that time. Yeah. Um, I don't have any kak kakadu plum sauce. You can't just buy that. It's a that. bit of a hard ingredient. Yeah, it is a bit hard to. You could use the Davidson plum plum mm. uh, jam to make it as well. Uh, but yeah, it was just we don't have it today. So today I'm going to use some marmalade with the sauce that I'm making. So, uh, but yeah, we got to, we got to make this for Rob um, on Fishing Australia, which is was just wonderful. The crew were great, and they were just. Took me out fishing. We had a great day and caught lots of fish. And yeah, yeah, a great bloke. Uh, Rob is a fantastic bloke. Um, yeah, he, he's a really, really nice bloke. What you see on the camera is what he's really like. He's great, <laughs> fantastic bloke. Had a great time. 
Rob, if you're watching, thank you. Had a great time with you, mate. <laughs> got him uh, out of the office. Yeah, got me out of the office for the day. <laughs> got me out of the kitchen, which was great. <laughs> yeah, that was aired on last year on one of the shows. Yeah, yeah the that's right. 17, exploring 1770. Oh, you're doing a fantastic job there. I'm going to just check the oil temperature here, which is really good. We're getting there on 20, so we're getting very close. And these don't have to be perfect, as long as they hold together. Yeah, that's all, as long as they hold together, which they do, they'd be fine. So you want them kind of nice and tight. Yeah, that one's kind of bit. Yeah. I'll go again. Do another one. Let's do another one. one. Keep going until you get them right. But they look. Last at, time, by the time I got to this They all thing. taste the same, so don't worry about them, what they look like. They taste the same. <laughs> Everyone loves them. They're fantastic. They really are. Yeah. If, you, if you're a bit of a, you know, a bit worried about eating kangaroo because it's gamey, trust me, this dish is absolutely amazing. And, and kangaroo is so healthy for you. You know, yeah. it, it's really good, very high in vitamin B and, and omega-3. And it's, it's just really good. It's great. So, yeah, so give it a go. Try it. It's not only our Australian um, <laughs> symbol. <laughs> it's good to eat too. <laughs> I'm sure we're not the only Well, what if it was a cow that was was our symbol? symbol? We wouldn't eat beef? No, I don't think no, so. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Our oil is getting closer and closer as we speak. Well, I have one there that looks okay. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I like a confidence there. Who likes that confidence? <laughs> Let's chuck this one in. So remember when you're putting stuff in the oil, always put it, put it in closest to you and let it splash away from you. In case it does splash, see it splashed up on the back there a little bit, but it didn't actually splash on me or anyone else for that matter. So we've got a little bit of a sizzle there. It's not our oil, probably not quite hot enough, but that's okay. It's still sizzling and cooking slowly, so you probably wanted you wanted our oil a bit hotter than that. But we're getting there. Still cooking. By the next one. <laughs> So yeah, if you put things in too too early, they will go so soggy. So it'll fill up, the oil will soak in too quickly. That's why you want the temperature of the oil to be um, at about 170, 180 uh, is a good temperature. As soon as you drop it in, she'll start sizzling like that and cooking. See this one's sizzling quite slow. It's probably gonna soak in a fair bit of oil. So, so I'm just showing you what not to do. <laughs> By the next one it'll be hot enough. So the temperature's at 150, so we are a little bit low, but you can see it's still simmering. And the ingredients is all cooked. Exactly you right. Know, we don't need to actually cook the in... in, in no, because we just cooked the kangaroo all the way through and everything else that was there you can eat raw, so... Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit messy as you can see, but it looks like it's fun. You've got it all over you. <laughs> <laughs> Get that off you. <laughs> oh, look at that sizzle. It's going good. It's going really good. Our temperature's still not there. We're having a bit of trouble getting our temperature up because it's quite it a windy. It is quite windy. No. But we're getting there. You it's like a challenge. Out. Oh, there's always a challenge <laughs> in the kitchen. Always. Especially cooking outdoors. Yeah, but it's lots of fun. It is lots of fun. And it's delicious. Yes. Yeah. I never thought I would eat kangaroo. And um, yeah, definitely enjoy it. Cook this way in the spring rolls. So just finish off this sauce. Oh yes, look at that sauce. Mm -hmm. That looks nice and thick. See, so just nice and thick sauce. It's just a beautiful dipping sauce to go with the kangaroo spring roll. Yeah, just something different. And it's simple. It's not hard. No. This is not tricky. <laughs> no, no. It's a, and it's all things that you can either buy at Woolworths or have in your pantry already. Yeah. Probably got these things in your pantry. Uh, and if you don't, you should have some marmalade. Marmalade's yum. It's great. <laughs> Most people would have marmalade in their fridge. Okay, we'll cut the cup. Yeah, you probably want a photo of Okay, here goes the fun part. We get to try it. Are you excited? I am, but I'm going to let you go first. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, look, I'm going to get a bit of this. Oh, look at that. I love the garnish you did there. That looks beautiful. Yeah, that was just some um, pea sprouts. 
amazing love everyone to try it and give it a go let me know what you think that's it put it in the comments or send us an email awesome excellent we appreciate your feedback thank you very much for watching we're going to go and enjoy our beautiful kangaroo yeah. spring rolls thank you very much bye, bye. see you on the flip side <laughs> oh. Oh. wow oh. how good was that